What's up everybody? My name is Jamal Aviade and welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this video, you're probably working on some stuff right now and you want to learn how to sample and I'm going to teach you that. So I'm using Logic 10.5 right now. The update is wonderful and when I mean wonderful, I mean amazing. It blows my mind. Honestly, it's great. But it has new tricks to sampling and it actually makes sampling really easy. I'm a sample holly. I sample on almost every song. I'm not going to lie to you. But I make it so most of the time, if I don't want you to, you don't know where that sample's coming from. But Sometimes you want people to know where the sample is coming from. So today I'm gonna teach you different ways to sample, four different ways to sample for free stock plugins in Logic X 10.5. Here we go. All right, you guys, so there's four basic ways to sample. The most basic, the primary foundation is the loop. A lot of these tutorials show you how to manipulate a loop and show you where to get loops from, but they don't tell you how to make a loop. So I'm gonna teach you how to make a loop right now for sampling. So the first thing you need to do is pick a song to sample. I picked a song called Strangers Lit Gang. So there's two ways to get to this Strangers Lit Gang. The main way is press F and the media file pops up. And if you see, that's my last thing I downloaded. So I downloads Strangers Lit Gang. You see it's playing right now. And I drag it in there. The second way, you can just go to search and Lit Gang. And it's right there. You can just drag it in and drop it if you want to do that too. I have it in there. So if you're starting off basics, some people don't already know this, but if you're starting off basics, you need to get the BPM. Go to the side, go to audio effects, go to metering, BBM counter, click it, and let it play. And sometimes it takes a little while for it to catch it. And as you see, it's 80 beats per minute. It took a little bit to catch it, but it's 80 beats per minute. All my people who are experienced at Logic knows you really didn't have to do that. For my beginners, you got to know how to get your BPM of a uh, sample. So next thing I'm going to do, I have to flex time this. I have to flex time. So it's this DNA strand right here. Press it. Boom. Flex time. Go to this tab right here. It says monophonic. Switch that to slicing. Because what I want to do is cut out the beginning of this song and make it repeat itself over and over and over again. And that's what be the, that would be my loop. If I make it a little bigger, I'm zooming in. You see these little lines? They're called transient lines. It lets you know when the sound wave starts. So that's the beginning of it. And I'm gonna repeat it right there. And if if that if I went too fast for you guys, I can count it out like two, three, uh, uh, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, uh. And look, it stops right there. It stops right at that line. So it's perfect. Next thing you want to do is press Control, click the audio file, the top of the audio file, click it, hit slice at flex markers not transients transient will cut all of them you want to slice that flex markers that's the markers you you set boom i can delete i can delete what's behind me delete this uh delete this little quiet part boom drag it forward bam so this is the part i want as you see when i look at it's a little off. It's a little off. It's not completely four bars. It's not perfectly four bars. So what I do now is go to the end where it's cut off a little bit. Excuse me. Go to the end of the loop where it's cut off a little bit. And hit the top right. Don't click. Just wave your mouse over the top right. As you can see, it's a bracket with two sound waves. This is going to manipulate the audio sound to make it fit perfectly. So now it's at five. So what this is going to do is manipulate the audio file so it perfectly fits it at 80 BPM. So here it goes. A perfect loop, 100% perfect loop. So the cool thing about flex time is when you're at flex time mode, you can change the BPM. It's how you, and this is how you change your loop to fit your personality. So 80 BPM is pretty slow, pretty drag. Let's see what 100 sounds like. 
and, and instead of on slicing, you can move it to speed so it, it sounds like it's going faster. <clears throat> so you have now officially made a loop. You have now made your first loop in Logic 10.5. Good thing about a loop, sometimes you can sample older songs, and if you want people to know where you sample from, like you want to know I use this song, sometimes it's cool keeping the whole entirety and integrity of the song and using a loop and just manipulating a little bit, making it faster, maybe going to pitch, pitch shifter, and miss. And it's, it's 100 BPM, but it's 100 BPM a second, so it's faster, but make it sound darker. But if you want something happier, so that's that. So you have now learned how to make a loop. So now that you guys know how to make a loop, the second basic of sampling is making a chop. Let's get to it. So how you chop up a sample is pretty easy. First thing first, I'm, I'm gonna um, label this the loop. All right, now that you have the loop, you know how to make a loop. How do we make a chop? So cool thing about Logic is I can hold Option and click click the audio file and drag it. So that's a copy tool. That's how you copy things. So in the same note, I can hold Option, click this, and drag it to the lower gray part. You see how it says Quick Sampler Original and Quick Sampler Optimized? You want to hit Quick Sampler Original. So the difference between Quick Sampler Original and Quick Sampler Optimized is quick sample original is just what it sounds like. It's you put this, uh, the loop in there or the sound in there and it's not gonna do anything with it. Optimize, Logic has an algorithm that changes things. So if it's too loud, it'll make it a little quieter. If it has some silent sparks, you'll cut it out. But if you're sampling stuff, usually I like to be able to want to manipulate everything. So okay, this is the file. This is the um, sound, the loop we just made. Go up here and click slice. Slice, you see it already chops it up. It tries to chop it up. And if I press Command K, my keyboard pops up. My keyboard pops up if I hit Command K. So if I hit A, it chopped it up, but not how I want it. So go to Mode. It says Transient. I like mine equal divisions. And just like it sounds, it chops up in equal divisions. But that is not how you want to chop. It's all off beat. And not off beat, but it's not, the chops are not where you want them. So I will go back to Slices right here and move it down a little bit until it gets to somewhere you want. And I think that's right there. Slice is at eight. And you see, do you hear how it's clashing? That's because poly is on. Go to poly 16 and drop it to mono. And watch this. It's not clashing anymore. Perfect. Now the last thing you want to do is you can move these things a little bit. So you can move it a little bit if you wanted to hit a little different space. And I like to kind of tighten it up sometimes. And so I think we're good to go. You see my stuff right there. There's my keyboard. Here's my quick sampler. Let's record. And you can press auto record or you can just hit this uh, red circle button. It doesn't matter. Oh, I have to mute that loop. Sorry about that, you guys. The loop has to be muted. Let's try it again. Ooh, that's crazy because that was a one try first. <laughs> And I killed that. Wow, I, I surprised myself on that. That was really good, you guys. So next thing you want to do is hit the mini loop, Command A, and go right here and quantize it so everything hits on beat. So that's how you chop a sample. As you see, it's really easy to do this. It's really easy. So if you're still watching this video and you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Join the Everything Is Lit Jamal Abiyade family. Videos are coming out every week and it's something you need to know to make you a better producer. So the third way to sample, third way, is really simple, but it can make a difference. It's, it's reverse. Reversing the whole track, flipping the track around, seeing how it sounds backwards. So all you have to do is you see the loop. You see it right here. You double click it. This pops up, track, file, and smart tempo. You want file. When you hit file, go to functions, go to reverse. It's that simple. So now the, you see, as you see, the loop is actually reversed now, and let's see how it sounds.
and actually i like the loop reverse better i like the loop straightforward <laughs> so that's the easy way how to sample stuff i know that's very basic but it's it's key and it will help out so last but not least the fourth way to sample is serato sample i saved it for last because you do have to buy it and disclaimer disclaimer let's get this out the way i am not paid by serato sample they're not giving me any money so i have no benefit if you guys go to barrage or buy serato sample so serato sample is a uh, it's pricey. I think it's like $99. I think it is pricey. But here's the good thing. It's a free trial that you guys can use. And I'll put the download link of the free trial in the description. So if you do like it, buy it. If you don't, who cares? So let me just show you Serato Sample and why I think you guys should buy it. Hit the plus button right here. Add software instrument. Uh, empty strip channel. Create. I have Serato Sample. Um, so if you don't have it, go download it and follow my instructions. You go to the instrument spot right here, click it. Serato sample recent because I use it all the time. Click it, it pops up. This is what Serato sample looks like. Load audio file, click it. And these are all boxes I have. I'm just gonna click one. Drop baby, I think it's not bad. All right, so you see this file. First thing you wanna do is hit Command K and pull up your um, keyboard. Or you can, you can do this on your MIDI keyboard. I'm just making it a little easier because some people might not have a MIDI keyboard like we have or you have or I have. So let's do it this way. So I have the uh, mini keyboard up. What you can do is press A. You see this, there's an A right here. That's an A on your keyboard. If I press A, it makes a mark right there. So that's really key. And actually you could pull this together to a little closer. You see the audio file, you can pull it a little closer and cl click that, delete it and pull it a little closer, then hit A. So it just it really hits on that drop drop the cool thing about this is if you look at drop baby right here it's 99.3 beats per minute the song is 120 it automatically synced that 99.3 to 120 so match because the, the original sound is at 99.3 is this that's the original tempo it's not going to match that tempo so the great thing about serato sample you could just hit sync and it automatically matches this to 120 and you could just put it in a song just like that i'm going to hit a and i'm going to hit s on the same spot so i can do that and the cool thing about it, you can double time it and make it 240 or you can slow it down so you see sampling that is very easy so i'm gonna sample this into the song really quickly uh i'm gonna i'm gonna sample it fast though uh, at 120. all right so i did that i exit out of that oh double clip this command a q quantize Let's see how the backward loop sound with it. So let's see. So now that you guys know the four ways of sampling, I'm gonna put drums on here really fast, just so you guys can see how quickly and easy it is to sample a song. So if you guys don't know how to put drums in um, Logic yet, it's okay, I have a video for that as well. I'm gonna put the reference video right here, so you can just click it right now if you don't know how to put drums. You can just skip this part, click the drums. I hope this tutorial helps you guys get out there and start sampling. This is the ultimate tutorial, the sample guide for Logic Pro X 10.5. Let's have some fun, you guys. I'm thankful for you guys watching my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. It's Jamal Labiade. Welcome to the Everything is Lit family. And I'll see you next week, same time, with another video. We going strong. Roll to 6,000. Let's get it.